Hi amazing viewers, welcome to Christianity over Islam with Shanshman and on today's amazing debate, sincere Muslim challenges Christian on Jesus and gets shocked. Let's watch this amazing video. Now let's go back to John 5 because I'm going to show you what John 5 says and it shows okay. that your pawn is from hell. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the son can do nothing of himself but what he seeth father to do. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the son can do nothing of himself but what he seeth the father do. Okay, the son can do nothing of himself but only what he sees the father do. Do you agree that Jesus is God's son who does whatever the father does? Uh, no. You just buried Muhammad because you said you don't agree with that. Now read the full verse. Uh, for, uh, then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the son can do nothing of himself but what he seeth the father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the son likewise. Okay. Do you agree that Jesus does everything the father does the way the father does it? Uh, this, this concept is a little baffling for me. No, do you agree what you read? You quoted John 5.30, I'm giving you the context. Jesus just said, yes. I can only do what the Father does. And whatever the Father does, I do it the way He does it. Can a prophet say, I only do, do what Allah does. That's all I can do. And whatever Allah does, I do. No, we can't But say. that's what Jesus said. But, uh, okay. So, mm, I understand that... Uh, uh, they're trying to imply that um, Jesus can do what the Father does, but uh, let, everything let the Father does, the way the Father does it, such as raise the dead. Read now, read John five twenty one, because I'm going to now show you the Quran proved Jesus is God. For as the Father raised it, raised raised up the dead and the quickened them, even so the Son quickened whom He will. Okay, so he will. just like the Father raises the dead and quickens them, meaning gives them life, the Son who can only do what the Father does and everything the Father does, He gives life to whom He wills. But it's going to get worse for you because I'm going to show you your Quran stole the words of Jesus. John 5, 25. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. And they shall hear uh, and they, uh, they that hear shall live. Okay, wait. Whose voice are they going to hear? In the Son of God. Which you don't believe he's the Son of God. And when they hear his voice, he's going to make them alive? And they shall hear, uh, and they should that hear, uh, shall live. Yeah. Okay, and the hour, right? Yes. Now read 28 and 29. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in the which all that uh, are in the graves shall hear his voice. And shall come forth. They have uh, they that have done they that have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the res resurrection of damnation. Okay, now whose voice are they going to hear at the hour? Uh, the son, the son of God. Okay, and when they hear his voice at the hour, they're going to come out of their graves, right? Yeah. So it, this it, is Yom Kiyama, right? Yeah. Okay, now go to your Quran, chapter 22, 6 and 7. That is because Allah, He is the truth, and it is He who gives life to the dead, and it is He who is able to do all things. And surely the hour is coming, there is no doubt about it, and certainly Allah will resurrect those things, those uh, who are in the graves. And among wait, men, wait, wait, your Quran says, at the hour, Allah will resurrect the dead from their graves, and He gives them life. Yeah. But Jesus said, He, the Son of God, will resurrect them from their graves and give them life at the hour. But let me ask you this question. Did Jesus well, really exactly say that? Before you ask, you just read the Quran. It says, Allah is the truth. He gives life to the dead. And yes. the hour is coming and have no doubt about it. Hmm. Allah will raise them from their graves. But yes. in John 5, 21 and John 5, 25, John 5, 28 to 29, you just read Jesus saying, I, the son of God, at that hour will give life to those in the graves and raise them out of their graves. Something that the Quran says only Allah does. So why did Jesus say this? So it's conflicting. So uh, let, let conflicting me ask you. What? Wait, conflicting with what? Conflicting. Uh, so there's two opinions, uh, two, two varying opinions. One is saying that Allah will um, uh, bring people out of the graves and the other one is saying that Jesus, yeah, Son of God is Quran doesn't matter. It comes 600 years later. We don't give a damn about your Quran. What I'm saying is John 5.30, which you quoted, which you didn't read, you're Quran admits that what Jesus said, only God can say. Can a prophet yes. say like Jesus, the hour is coming where they will hear my voice at that hour and I will raise them from the graves. No, I don't think any prophet can say that. But Jesus said it. So who does Jesus think he is according to your Quran? So in the Quran, you quit, we're quoting from the Bible. So we're not quoting from no, the Quran. No, we're quoting from the Quran to show you my Bible proves that Jesus claimed to be God. Don't run, tap dancer. Brother, just, according just, to just the Quran, you want me to send you to Mecca? I'm going to get you out of here. According to the Quran, did Jesus claim what only God can do? Mm -hmm. Yes, Jesus oh. is claiming what only God can do. Only, so then, now you see why you don't, by, trust by. you don't trust Akhenaik, he's a liar like your prophet. Now, did Allah also say that he's the truth? In yes, Quran chapter 22, verse Absol 6? Absol absolutely. Now read John 14, verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by According me. to chapter 22, verse 6, who's the truth? Al-Haq. According to Allah. Okay, and one of the 99 names of Allah is Al-Haq. 
Yes, absolutely. So why did Jesus say he's the truth and the light? Can you show me where your prophet said, I am the truth and the life? No, because he doesn't claim to be the truth of the life. Oh, but Jesus did. This is the same Jesus chapter did. where you thought Jesus saying the father is greater than I. Y yeah, absolutely. I'm, you, I'm reading it correctly and you're stating it correctly. And you admit that Jesus claiming what the Quran says only Allah can claim and no prophet can claim if he's God fearing. So thank you for proving to me Jesus claimed to be God, the son of God. But let me let, let me just ask you one. Do you question want me to finish the other right? verses you mentioned? Because you misquoted John 10, 28, 14, 28. Do you want to go to another? We, we, we'll get to that. But okay, okay, I have just, just one question. How how do we we know we as Muslims or we as uh, some uh, for some if, if some person is um, looking at uh, Islam from a holistic point of view, how does somebody know that the Bible is actually the words of, yeah. of Jesus? Jesus. Uh, Hassan, how do we know that? How do we I, prove can that? Can I show you why you are a deceiver like your prophet? Who used John to try to prove Jesus isn't God? Me or you? I read the verses. I read the verses. I absolutely no, who, read the words. You're not listening to me. Who went to John 14, 28, John 10, 29, and John 5, 30 to show me that Jesus isn't God? Me or you? I, I, I went there. So why is it then when I use the same John to bury you and prove Jesus is God, now you're saying, well, how do we know this is God's word? So okay, if you so don't believe it's God's word, why are you quoting it against me? So, so uh, okay, okay. I understand, I understand your perspective. I 100% uh, understand okay, so your perspective. Do you I'm taking me, some, hold on. I'm taking, please, please. Do you want me to now use the very verses you used against me to show you why Quran is false? Or do you want me now change the subject and show you that as a Muslim, you have no choice but accept the Bible? What do you want me to do? Um, I think... Uh, yeah. Do you want to go back to John 14, 28, which you ran from? Yeah, we, we, we can oh, go back good. to John. So don't quote to me the Bible to try to prove your point. And then when I bury you from the Bible, now you question it. Well, okay. I don't, okay. don't do that. Either you're going to use the Bible consistently or you don't use it. My apologies. My it's apologies. okay because I'm using the Bible that you quoted against me to show you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, 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 exactly. You're exactly. trying to yeah. prove, prove my point and then I'm trying to disprove your point and then you're proving exactly. that. Exactly. Yes, and okay, so now in John 14, 6, you admit that same chapter Jesus just claimed to be the truth and the life, which according to the Quran, only Allah can be the truth and the life, right? Only, only Allah can be the truth. Right? right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now go to John 14, 13 and 14. To do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask, ask me for anything in my name and so I will do it. Can you show me in the Quran that someone other than Allah in heaven answers prayers and does what you ask him to do? When you make dua, who do you make it to? Allah. How come Jesus said, you will ask in my name and I will do it? Who does Jesus think he is? He thinks he's God. Say it again. He thinks he's God. Okay, so then can we stop this? John 14, 23. Jesus answered to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word and my father will love him, love him and we will come to him and make our home with him. My father and I will come and we will live with you and be with you. How can Jesus, if he's a prophet, claim, I will be with every true believer <clears throat> the same way the father will be with every true believer because father and I together will live with every believer all over the world. Can a prophet say that? No, absolutely not. So Jesus said that, right? Yeah. And yet he's not the father, right? No. So who does Jesus think he is? From the, these verses, it feels... These verses, now let's read John 14, 28. Context always matters. Are you, ah, you got it. Uh, ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye loved me, ye would rejoice, because I said, and, uh, I said, I go unto the Father, for the fa Father is greater than I. This is the purse that you quoted from... Going to the Father, you should rejoice, for the Father is greater than I. Now, you just admit in that chapter, Jesus claimed to be the truth and life, which only God can claim. Jesus uh, yes. will answer prayers from heaven, which only God does. And Jesus with the Father will be with every believer all over the world, meaning he's omnipresent, omniscient like the Father. So that means before I get to 28, Jesus already told me how not to understand it. Greater not in nature, in position. Just like your father can be greater than you in position, but you're still equal to your father in nature, or your boss greater than you in position, but equal to him in nature. Jesus saying, if I remain on earth, the Father is greater than I, because Jesus is on earth in a humble state as a servant to the Father, who is being beaten, spit, whipped, and killed, whereas the Father is exalted on the throne. So he's saying, rejoice, because when I go back to the Father, that will no longer be the case. But if I remain here, he'll be greater than I. But when I go back, he and I will be together in the same glory. That's John 17, verse 5. Read that for me. And now the Father glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. Ah, uh, did you catch it? 
glorify me together with yourself in your presence. Meaning, yeah. I don't have that glory now because I'm on earth as a servant, allowing human beings to beat me, spit on me, whip me, and then allowing them to kill me. But then when I rise from the dead, I will return to the glory that you and I had before the world was. Do you believe Jesus had glory with the Father? And it was with the Father in the same glory before the world? Before the world, I, I don't think so. But he, but he just said it. Now, Father, glorify me together with yourself with the glory I had with you from before the world. Before the world. Yeah, absolutely read it right. But uh, this still the concept is... Uh, <laughs> I really can't grasp the concept. Well, you, I, think, you, I think I think uh, honestly, honestly, it's it's a matter of time. I, 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 uh, it's a matter of time. Honestly, I, this is brand new for me. This is brand okay, new. Okay, good. Me. Take your time. But that's the name. You even as a Muslim know Allah is unlike anything creation, and you can't fully comprehend them. So why oh, that? Absolutely, excuse? absolutely. Then why make the excuse? So well, the Trinity is hard to grasp. So what? If it's what Jesus taught and Jesus is real, then it's true whether I can understand it or not. That's not an excuse to reject it. Yeah, understood. Okay, so do you want me to deal with now John 10, 29? My father is greater than all? Mm, uh, yeah, we, we can move on to that. Okay, but let's go to John 10. You start 20. Let's read 27 to 30. Uh, my father was given uh, given them to me as greater than, greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. My sheep, no. listen to my voice. I know that... Pastor, this video get more interesting. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do it to subscribe. Okay. Now let's read context. Read 27 okay. to 30. Okay. Uh, my sheep, listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They are my sheep. They hear my voice. I give them eternal life. I give them eternal life. And no one snatched them out of my hand. And they shall never perish. And no one will snatch them out of my okay, hand. Okay, can you show me a prophet saying, I give people eternal life and I preserve them forever and no one can take them out of my hand. No prophet, you didn't even uh, comprehend seeing that. Oh, but now let's see the context. Now keep reading. Uh, okay. My father who has given them to me is greater, greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. I and the father are one. Now you understand that my father is greater than all of those who would try to destroy the sheep. Therefore, because my father is greater than all of those who try to destroy the sheep, no one can take the sheep out of his hand. And no one can take the sheep out of my hand because I and the Father are one. So when he says I and the Father are one in the context of the sheep are in my hand and in my Father's hand and they can never be destroyed by anyone. What does he mean I and the Father are one? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Exactly. You got it, right? Yeah, I am just true. Just Even true. the Jews realize Jesus just claimed to be God though he's not the Father. Because now read 31 or 33. Again, his Jewish uh, opponents picked up stones to his stone him. But Jesus said to them, I have shown you many good works the, from the Father. For which of these do you stone me? We are not stoning you for any good work, they replied, but for blasphemy because you, a mere man, claim to be God. See, they got it. You're a man, we see it. You're not the Father, but you just claim that only God can do. Yeah. So, even the Jews understood Jesus was claiming to be God in the flesh. So why would Nike and his boss, Didat, misquote John 10, 29, not read 27 to 30, Misquote John 14, 28, not read verse 6, verses 13 to 14, 23. Misquote John 5, 30, not read 19 to 30. Let me give you a few more statements from Jesus to show you in John, he claims the very names that even Islam says belong only to God. Go to John 11, since you're in John 11. Read for me 25, 26. Uh, Jesus said to her, I am, the, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Wait, so Jesus said, I am the resurrection life. In yeah. Islam, one of the names of Allah is Al Bayyat, the yeah. one who raises the dead. And another one of his names is Al Hayat, the living one, Al Hay, the life. Jesus said, I am Al Bayyat, the one who raises the dead. And I am Al Hay, the living one, Al Hayat. Can a prophet who is a creature claim to be resurrection and life? No, absolutely not. So, but Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. I am the truth and the life. I give them eternal life. No one can pluck them out of my hand. I am one with my father in his power and ability to preserve believers. And at the hour, I will raise the dead from their graves by my voice. Who does Jesus think he is? He thinks he's God. Say it again. He thinks he's God. Now read John 6, 39 and 40 for me. And then if you have other questions, we'll deal with it. If not, I hope you got your answers. Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, you've pretty much answered all my questions. I, oh. uh, I'm. It's really getting neat. I just I just I have one question before. Uh, okay, read so John 6, 39, 40, then ask me your other question. Uh, and this is the will of him who sent me that I shall choose none of all those who has given me, but raise them up at the last day. Mm -hmm. For my father, uh, for my father's will is that everyone who looks to the son and believes in him shall have eternal life and I'll raise them up at the last day. 
Last day is Yom al Qiyamah, the last day, yeah. the day of judgment, right? The day of judgment. Absolutely. But Jesus, I will be the one who will raise, resurrect believers and make them immortal. Yeah. Can you show Absolutely. me where Muhammad or Moses says that? No one, no one should say. So who does Jesus think he is? Like I said, he thinks he's God. Yeah, and yet he's not the father, right? He's the father's no. son? He is the father's son. Okay, what's your other question? So, so my other question is, I think, I think we didn't really uh, get get down to this point. Is uh, how how do we, uh, from the perspective of um, Muslims or the perspective of Christians, know that the Bible was yes. preserved at all Too all points? Too easy. Yeah. For a Muslim, your prophet told you it's preserved, not me. For a Muslim, if I'm dealing with an athe atheist agnostic, even someone like a Bart Ehrman will tell you that what we have today is what they basically wrote down because of the thousands of manuscripts in all these languages, starting from the 2nd, 3rd, 4th century onwards, we have over 25,000 copies of the books of the Bible, nearly 10,000 in Latin alone from the 2nd century, 3rd century, 4th century. We know <clears throat> what the originals are because this massive amount of manuscripts all agree <clears throat> on the basic message in spite of variations in reading because every document written by hand has variations even the chronic mass manuscripts and you know this because you have different iraat but yes. put that aside you're not an atheist you're a muslim as a muslim your quran says that the scriptures that god gave through the prophets to the jews and christians they're uncorrupt they're preserved and muhammad confirmed them but he didn't know that by confirming them he was destroying his case you have your quran you want me to show you yeah open up your quran go to surat al-baqarah chapter 2 Yes, absolutely. Okay. One of the tests that Muhammad gave that he was a prophet, he gave this test, is that his Quran confirms what they have. Meaning, here's how you know I'm a prophet. My Quran confirms what you have to be God's words. But then the Jews and Christians says, well, no, it doesn't. It contradicts it. That's why we reject you. So go to chapter 2. When you're there, let me know. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. I'm there. Read 40 to 44. Chapter 2, Surat al-Baqarah, verses 40 okay, to 40. 44 slowly. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, verse 40. O children of Israel, Remember my favors upon you. Fulfill your covenant and I will fulfill mine and stand in awe of me alone. Believe in my revelations which confirms your scriptures. Do not be the first to deny them or uh, confirm your scriptures. So, so Muhammad is talking to the Jews of his time, right? Yeah. And it says, this Quran, you should believe because it confirms your scriptures. Yes. Keep reading all the way to 44. Do not be the uh, do not be the first to deny them or treat them for a fleeting gay and be mindful of me. Do not mix truth with falsehood or hide the truth unknowingly. Establish prayer, uh, establish prayer, pay arms tax, and bow down with those who bow down. Do Am you I preach? You? Okay, before you says, yeah, yeah, do yeah, not hide the truth when you know it. How would they know the truth if they didn't have it? Yeah. Uh, that, how, that's, can they hide, how can they hide something they don't have? Yeah, that, that, seems, uh, that seems like... Uh, well, that seems like... Uh, Finish 44. We're not done yet. 44. Okay. Uh, do you preach righteousness and fail to practice it yourselves? Although you read the scripture, do you not understand? So wait, it says the Quran confirms your scriptures. You have the truth, but you're hiding it and you read the scripture. How if their books were corrupted? So it, uh, it, it could it could directly um, um, uh, point to the original scriptures. Right? What original? It's talking about the time of Muhammad. So they had the original scriptures at the time of Muhammad. Good job. Thank no, you. I, 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 uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Reread, it says... Believe in this, Believe in which confirms your scriptures. Who's he talking to? Moses? No, absolutely not. The, so uh, the, the Israelis at that time. The Israelis, uh, the Jews, the Jews in Medina and Mecca. So how can Muhammad say, hey, this Quran confirms your scriptures, what you have, when they didn't have the original, right? Yeah. Okay, now read chapter two, verse eighty-nine. No, uh, okay, 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 okay. So, so, so on this point, I on this point, just 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 let me try to understand this a little bit more, uh, better. If you read two eighty-nine, you can understand it better. It's just the okay. same thing. Just okay, okay. Two. Yeah, let, let me get there. But it's it's pointing to your old, old children of Israel. It isn't. Uh, it isn't yes, pointing to Allah, the Nazarenes. Allahu Akbar. Can you just read two eighty nine, dude, and be patient? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. No issues. Although they used to pray for victory by means of the prophet over the polyth uh, over the polytheists, when they came to them a book from Allah which they recognized, confirming the scriptures they had in their hands, they rejected it. They had what in their hands? Confirming the scriptures they had in their hands. So they had they the scriptures in their hands, and the Quran confirms it. Confirming the scriptures they had in their hands. Yeah. Okay, now read 91. Even though your translation is not the best, it's okay. It's still good enough. Now read 91. When it said, when it said, uh, when it is said to them, believe in Allah, believe in what Allah has revealed, they reply, we only believe in what was sent down to us. And they deny what came afterwards. So it is a truth confirming their own scriptures. So wait, the Jews saying, we believe what was given to us. But wait, this Quran that comes later confirms what you have. So why don't you follow it? 
So why is the Quran telling the Jews, and I'm going to show you about the Christians in a minute, my Quran is true, and this is how you're going to know it's true. It confirms what you have. Your scriptures right now, the Quran agrees and confirms they're the words of God. Why is Muhammad saying that if you're right, the Bible has been corrupted, it's not preserved. Read chapter 2, verse 101. I'm not done yet. 2101. Okay. No, no, sure. I'll, I'll go there. Uh, what? Uh, did you say 201 or 101? Chapter 2, same. Surat al Baqarah, the cow, and named after my friend Vartan. Read 101. Okay. Now, when a messenger from Allah has come to them, confirming their own scriptures, some confirming of the people. What? Confirming their own scriptures. The word confirmed, go look at any dictionary. The word sadaqa, that's why, like, you get Abu Bakr as Sadiq. A sadiq, sadaqah means to bear witness to something being true and reliable. Yeah, so why is the Quran confirming your scriptures are true and reliable and it agrees with your scriptures? Why is it doing that? Read chapter 2 verse 97. Say, O Prophet, whoever is an enemy of Gabriel should know that he revealed this Quran to your, to your heart by Allah's will, confirming what came before it. A guide what and a good means master. what's in front of him. What came before? What came before it, sir? It's directly pointing to the Bible. Hand. So uh, why does Quran Bible. keep saying this Quran? You know it's true because it confirms what you have, the scriptures in your hands, to be true, reliable, and Allah's words, and it agrees with them when it doesn't. That's why Muslims keep saying the Bible's corrupt because they see. Wait, the Quran contradicts the Bible, so the Bible has changed. No, the Quran says. One of the proofs of the Quran is that it confirms those scriptures and agrees with them. But when we read our scriptures, no, it doesn't. Oh, so Muhammad is the liar. Now, what about the Christian scriptures? All right. Before I show you the Christian scriptures, can you okay. read chapter 2 for me? Verse 136 of the Quran, because I'm going to ask you a question. 136 of the Quran. Okay, perfect. perfect. Chapter 2, verse 136. 136. Say, O believers, we believe in Allah and what has been revealed to us and what was revealed to Abraham, Ishmael, Ishmael Isaac. Jacob and his descendants and what was given to Moses, Jesus, and other prophets from their Lord. We make no distinction between any of them and to Allah we all submit. Okay, now, when it says, for the first part, what are you supposed to say? You believe in what? I believe in Allah and what and was what revealed to us. And what was revealed to us. Was. Now, right now, let me ask you a question. When the Quran tells you that you must believe in what was revealed to you, meaning you must believe the Quran, right? Yeah. But part of Iman means you must also believe that the Quran is preserved and it's not corrupt, right? Yes, absolutely. But you got a problem says you must have the same view of what was given to Abraham, Moses and Jesus. Meaning your view of the Quran, that it's not only revelation, but it's been preserved, has to have the same view of the revelation given to Abraham, Jesus and Moses. And you can't make a distinction. But when you tell me the other books are corrupt, you are making a distinction. Why are you doing that? I'm doing that because it was it, it, it's it's quite increasing and what was given to Moses, Jesus, and but you didn't hear me. It says what you believe it was given to you is the same attitude you have to have about what was given to them. So if you believe what was given to me is the Quran and it's preserved, preserved. why then you believe what was given to them is not preserved? That means you are making a distinction. So you're not listening. I'm, I'm making a distinction because um uh but the verse says we make yeah. no distinction. Read it. Yeah, uh, oh, we make no distinction between any of them. So why are you making a distinction? Because you're saying what was given to him is corrupted. Okay, I, I, I'll take that back. I'll take that point back. Okay, so now you have the same attitude. What was given to them, we believe, just like we believe was given to us, and what was given to us is preserved, so what's given to them is preserved too, right? Uh, it, it does say that, yeah. We make no distinction well, it's between preserved, right? It's, it's, yeah. Where That's is it then, if it's preserved? Now go to chapter 2, verse 285. Exactly. Chapter 2, verse 285. 285. The second last verse. The messenger firmly believes believes in what has been revealed to him from his Lord, and so do the believers. They all believe in Allah, his angels. Slowly. They all believe in Allah, in Allah, his angels, his books, and his messengers. Books, plural, right? Books, plural. Yeah. Keep on. They proclaim, we make no distinction between any of his messengers, and they say, we hear and obey. We seek your forgiveness, our Lord, and to you alone is the final return. Okay, what are you supposed to believe about the Quran? It says that true believers believe in the books and what was given to Muhammad is one of those books, right? Yeah. So what yes. are you supposed to believe about the Quran? I'm supposed to believe that it's 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 a book. Um, uh, I'm supposed to believe it. Uh, believe in Allah, his angels, his books. Yeah, but and what are you supposed it. to believe about the Quran? That it's a book, but what? It's been corrupted? No. So what are you supposed to believe about the Quran? It's Uncorrupted. Preserved. Say it again? Preserved. But it says that you're supposed to believe this about all the books. We believe in the books. And we make no distinction. Yeah. So if you're supposed to believe that this book, Quran, is preserved, cannot be corrupted, you're supposed to have the same faith about the other books, but well, you're telling me those books are corrupted. So why are you going against your Quran? 
Understood. Understood. Let me give yeah. you a few more. Go to chapter four, verse forty-seven of the Quran. I, I, I think that's that's pretty much it from okay, my right. end. Come back. Come Frank, back. Thank you so much, man. Well, asana, asana. If you go on my YouTube channel and do search Quran Confirms Bible, I have dozens of sessions, and on my blog, I have hundreds of articles. Go read them and pray and say, God, if Jesus is the Son of God, reveal him to me. If Muhammad is a messenger, strengthen him in my faith. Open your heart. No one has to watch. It's between you and God. And I promise you, if you open your heart, you will worship Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay. I, I, so, so one last question. Well, yes. when do you do this sort of session with Muslims? Usually, I, if you come on, even if I'm doing a live stream, I'll stop it and take your questions. Say, look, I'm here and I have questions. I'll stop. Okay, Don't worry. Perfect. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Even though oh, we Jesus started off with you. on the wrong foot. Um, uh, thank you so much for opening, oh, uh, uh, clearing everything for me. God, take care. The Lord be with you and guide you to the truth. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Welcome back. Hope you've learned from this amazing video. Please do it to like, subscribe, hit up the notification button so that each time we drop amazing videos, you'll be notified. And do it to write in the comment section whatever thing you've learned from this amazing video. As you can see in this video, this Muslim guy came up and claimed to say that the Quran is not corrupted because it is where say that jesus christ is just a prophet but some showed him so many proof here that the allah they are calling in the quran is jesus christ where it was said in the book of john chapter 5 he see and he just has made a statement there he said verily verily i said unto you that a son cannot do anything except he sees what the father does so whatever thing you found jesus christ doing that was what god that was what god told him to do so in the quran in the bible you found out that jesus christ was able to give life jesus christ can give life to any man and jesus christ can heal the sick and can raise the dead which then i wrote in the quran that allah will be the one to give lives and their allah will be the one that will save everyone and in the bible you found that jesus christ is that one that is capable of saving life and bringing back the dead to life he has the power to do everything and if you study the quran very well you found out that it was said that they are taking away their sins and make them whole so they can make heaven and if you read the bible very clearly it was said that jesus christ is a lamp and is worthy of our sins to take away our sins our iniquities so we can be led forward into christ jesus so to tell you the, the quran is really corrupted the quran just copied everything that was written in the bible and put it there that they should be serving their allah who, who they claim they are serving but they never knew it is jesus christ they are serving because every miracle you sam shimon made it clear here that every miracle you found jesus christ doing was not in his own power it is from the will of the father so whatever thing you found jesus christ doing in the scripture or in this in, when he was here on earth was the, exactly the will of his father so every will that the father told him to do that is what is allowed to do here on earth because he don't do what is, is contradicted by his father so the quran just copied everything from the bible and now writes it in the quran thinking that they are right but never accept one fact that is really wrong in the, in the quran which is that the quran never accepted that jesus christ is the son of god which the bible clearly said that jesus christ is the son of god so who is now contradicting the two of them some said why will i believe the the quran than the bible when the bible already existed before the quran because the quran the bible was written before they wrote the quran so there's tendency the quran copied from the bible so at the end of this debate this muslim guy kept quiet and became kept quiet and sincerely gave his life to christ because he now know that jesus christ is the son of god and he now believed that the quran is really corrupted and is full of heresy because the quran did not believe what the bible says about jesus christ one the bible said about jesus christ that jesus christ is the son of god and the quran did not accept that and the, and the bible clearly said that jesus christ was there when when god made the heavens and the earth but the quran never accepts that so these are things to tell you that the quran is full of heresies thanks for watching this amazing video hope to see you in our next debate